What's up guys, it's Jonathan with Rev Free Moto, and today I'm at Old Dominion Harley-Davidson in Fredericksburg, Virginia, getting ready to take a test ride of this beautiful, uh, I believe the color was Gunship Gray, 2022 Lowrider ST. Now this is actually a brand new bike, and it has been sitting on the showroom floor, and I have wanted to see, wanted to test ride a Lowrider ST for quite some time now. I just love the look of it, and um, I love the fairing, I love the uh, just the whole package. Uh, these things are supposed to lean a little bit oh, uh, a little bit more, and maybe be a little bit less wind on me, so I wanted to give it a shot and, and see what I think. Uh, this thing's got the 117 Milwaukee 8 motor, uh, it's got stock pipes, um, all blacked out and everything, so just a beautiful look to it. Look at all this cush on the seat too. I'm I'm looking forward to that. Uh, very very much different than the pancake uh, saddle on the <laughs> on the fat boy. Uh, but yeah, we're ready to go, and I've got my man Morgan over here uh, on this trike, who's uh, the salesman. He is uh, riding with me, and he's ready to roll. Morgan, you ready? All right, buddy. Good to go. All right, so let's do this pretty excited these guys uh, this is this dealership is actually where I bought my uh, fat boy as well so uh, they've been really good to me and uh, Morgan's uh, incredible I think it's really cool they've got a trike that he can ride as a demo all right this bike's got some mileage on it 1300 miles and they're still selling it as new so this thing has mid controls Oh wow, that is different. But I, I, I feel like, yeah, first impressions, if I can keep up with Morgan, um, is that your, uh, your, your knees are way high up in the air, that is for sure. Morgan's helping me out with uh, <laughs> some potholes there. This thing definitely needs an exhaust on it. It is very quiet. I'm sure if I open it up, it will sound good, but boy, it's amazing to me this thing is a being sold as a new motorcycle, and it's got 1,387 miles on it. I like this uh, heads-up display. If you, It's not really a heads-up display, but this digital gauge here. Um, one of the frustrations that I've found is that on the fat boy um, I'm always looking down like this to see my speed to see my what gear I'm in you know is it just me or does anybody else forget what gear they're in um, but uh, this thing it's, it's right there in front of you so I really love that it's kind of cool uh, looking at the back of this uh, trike it almost looks like a little Volkswagen thing <laughs> I like Morgan already. This guy's, uh, you can tell that he's a experienced uh, person with, with uh, sales. He's low pressure and he's knowledgeable about the bikes, which is refreshing. Sometimes you get a, you'll get a, oh my gosh, sometimes you get a Harley uh, person, salesman, that does not know what he's talking about. Woo, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow, 117, but this is a, like, I'm trying not to be like a little kid, but, <laughs> wow. Alright, Morgan's taking me left. If I'm, uh, if I seem unsteady, it's because I am. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm um, looking for my floorboards and they're not there. Let's see if neutral is easy to find. Oh my gosh. Well, that's refreshing. I know on the Fat Boys, I'm not really sure why, but the neutral is almost impossible to locate. And so I'll be sitting in a light and I'm playing with, with the, the shifter, trying to get a neutral over and over and over again. And it's just so frustrating because by the time I actually get it into neutral, the light changes and it's time to go. So it's like, what was the point of that? 
um, and uh, you know the I thought that it would get easier as the miles crept up on the fat boy a little bit but it still is a problem so this thing's uh, really easy to find neutral and I thought that this fairing would be um, you know ominous looking uh, there it's big I mean but it's not as big as a fairing on a uh, like an electric glide or a street glide or uh, road glide or any of those all right here we go pretty sure the car next to me back there was smoking weed so hopefully I won't get a contact buzz from that Good thing Morgan's in front of me because I'd probably be going about a hundred right now if he wasn't. I wonder why this thing's got so many miles on it. Has a whole bunch of people, did they use it as a demo bike? Did a whole bunch of people test ride it? Morgan's up here. He's, he walks with a cane. You know, he has trouble getting around. I didn't ask him what is, you know, medically what was going on with him. Obviously, that's a personal question, but um, here, he, here he is out here still riding, you know, so respect to him. If you ever, if you're in the Fredericksburg or Central, Central Virginia area, um, you want a good salesman, it's going to treat you right. This guy, Morgan, uh, I've had some great I have a great impression of him already. And he says he's been with the... I want to say he's been selling Harleys for 12 years or 15 years or something like that. So... So... The... Stance... As far as like how you sit on this thing, I'm 5'10 and a half. Don't forget the half. 185 pounds, um, depending on what I ate for dinner last night, right? But uh, I don't. I do feel like I'm reaching a little bit for the for the handlebars, but it's not like um, beyond control. I'm not leaning forward. I'm sitting up straight. If I lean forward a little bit, then I got a little bit of a bend. But if I'm uh, if I'm seated, seated in a very straight up and down, my back straight position, then um, I've got, you know, almost no bend in my arm. So I think that's a good thing because if there's too much bend in your arm, it, it uh, I feel like uh, you're, I don't know, I, I almost prefer my, my elbows being almost locked. Yeah, this thing, all it needs is a little bit more sound to it. Uh, it's very nimble, I mean, very nimble. And it's got a lot more stopping power, you know, so it's got more go and it's got more stop. It's got dual uh, front discs for the brakes whereas the fat boy only has a single which has been fine but it's nice to know that this thing has a lot of stopping power if you need it Gosh, 
it's so much more um, easy to go around curves with this in comparison to the Fat Boy. I, the Fat Boy is a uh, got that big rear tire on the back, the one, the 240, and uh, you start getting into the curves with that thing, and it's like you're fighting fighting the bike through the curves. So in comparison, this this bike is very much. No problem. Glides through the curves. No, no issues at all. I think the only concern that I have is if my okay, we're turning right. I think Morgan's a good group rider. He's getting my attention with his hand signals and his tail signal here. All right, I think this is the back entrance to the. Maybe not. Maybe we're just turning around. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. Well, I cut off. So, uh, the only thing that I'm wor I I'm loving it. Uh, I wish we could go faster. <laughs> But, um, I said, okay, yeah, well, no, it's all right, whatever you want to do, but, um, I was c just making a comment that, it, I said, it's probably a good thing Morgan's in front of me, or else I'd probably be going 100. Um, yeah, man, the get up and go is insane on this thing. Why are there so many miles on it? Was it a demo? Right. And then when they're done with them, they put them in a COD option. It's called Cup Equal Vehicle Option. So they're still sold as new because they've never been tired, but they have whatever miles they have. Okay. So it was a demo somewhere else. It was a demo for the guys in the water. Gotcha. Okay. Are these um, stock or is that? That is stock. Okay. Oh, I see you got them on. Yeah. Your, uh, is that a, that's a road glide trike? It's a, yeah, road glide trike. Okay, very cool. Yeah, um, I think uh, we being used to the forward controls, uh, yeah. definitely an adjustment because uh, you know you go to take your foot um, off the peg and you're you're expecting to be here and you're here and so that's it's just an adjustment. But no, it it rides wonderfully. Um, it needs pipes, but yeah, yeah but other than that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I if I'm gonna do music, I can do it through my uh, speakers and my helmet. But oh, good timing. We got a train coming. <laughs> but yes, sir. Okay, sure. Look at all these different indicators on the gauges. I don't know that my fat boy has all these different indicators. Ready when you are. This, uh, I feel like I'm just learning to ride, you know, because <laughs> this thing is so different. And I wonder if that's why, you know, this bike's been sitting a while. Uh, as I don't know how well the mic picked up what Morgan was saying, but I asked him about the mileage on it, and he said that uh, he had, they had several customers that were asking for this color. 
uh, I don't know when that was, the of the gunship Gray, and this particular bike was a um, a dealer demo for the like the the guys in Milwaukee, like the or a, deal, a demo for like the maybe the higher ups. I don't know, but actually in Milwaukee, and so they put it in some sort of a, uh, here we go, he knows what, what's happening, they put it in some sort of an auction uh, where only dealers, only Harley dealers can buy it, and then it can be sold as a, uh, as a new bike, but it's got miles on it because it was used as a mileage, as a, as a mileage, as a, uh, demo bike. So now it's creeping up on 1,400 miles, and I'm wondering if it's had its first oil change or you know anything like that. That'd be an interesting thing to uh, ask about. Uh, yeah, I mean. Nice road run along the train track here. It's an absolutely beautiful day, that is for sure. It's like 80 degrees, if that. I mean, just super nice. Like, very low to zero humidity. on this ferry now that we're up to speed a little bit. Uh, Morgan, you're killing me, bro. Uh, I bet I could could have hit that curve a lot quicker. Um, the wind protection seems like it's pretty good. There's a little bit of wind on the helmet, but it's not not a lot. And I'm sure if I get, you could probably get a little bit of a taller windshield for this thing. Alright, here we go. Alright, so here I am at 60 miles an hour, and I do have some some wind hit my helmet so you know if this had a little bit of a taller screen on it it'd probably completely get rid of it but it's not bad and my entire upper body up until about the wind starts about right here uh, right about nose level just below eye level, so it's it's not bad. And it's kind of nice now. If I wanted to open my hel helmet up, oh yeah, I'm getting getting a lot of wind right in the face when I open my helmet visor up. But I feel like this thing's actually geared a little bit taller too, so. Uh, like I can cruise in, uh, in fifth gear at 55 and it really doesn't even feel like I need to shift. It's almost like it doesn't even need a sixth gear, but until you get it over 60. speed it is it is a 117 motor and what do you guys think about this color I mean yeah, I think it's amazing it's it's 
kind of weird with the mirrors like up in the middle of outer space like this. I'm sure they catch some bugs. Good demo ride. I, I am thankful for uh, for Morgan taking me on a little bit longer of a ride. When I rode test rode the Fat Boy, uh, that was a quick jaunt around the block, and that was about it. I have never ridden a Harley with mid controls before. did not last very long. R Morgan is on a road glide trike. Oh, the rear cylinder de deactivation just came on. I could hear it. Uh, the uh, idle change. I wonder what kind of RPMs we're running at. Nine sixty, so that's not bad. That's where it should be. Very, very little vibration in the handlebars at all, but there is a little bit, and that's kind of actually I prefer a little bit. If it's a Harley, I, I want it a little bit of vibration. I like this gas gauge. That's pretty cool. Neutral so easy on this bike. Uh. This bike has ABS. I just don't know if they are like linked. 
ABS, so that's another question. As in, if you grab too much front brake, is it going to automatically add the rear brake for you? And I'm not sure. Activation came on again. I feel like the, it comes on more on the 117 than the 114, and I don't know if that's uh, because it's a bigger motor. Maybe it gets a little hotter. I'm trying to stagger with Morgan and uh, staggered riding formation, and he just won't do it. <laughs> I do feel some heat coming off this motor. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's very possible the 117 heats up a little bit more than the 114. Uh, if you have a 117, uh, in, yeah, I'd love to hear your experience on the heat. I'm sure one thing that we could do to cool it down a little bit is put some pipes on it. That air uh, cleaner, I think they call it a big sucker, something like that. That's a big sucker. I mean, it's it. That is a large air cleaner. But yeah, you definitely feel like you're sitting on the motorcycle more than more so than the than the fat boy, where you're kind of sitting down in the saddle and. But you also feel like you have a lot of control. Uh, there have definitely been times, especially low speed maneuvers with the fat boy with, with those forward controls that uh, I have felt barely on the verge of control. So let's see, what else we got? We got RPMs, uh, odometer, uh, trip A, a trip B, a, uh, that's your range, 198 miles of range left. So this thing's got here the rear cylinder is active, uh, deactivated again. Um, and then you got a, a fuel gauge here and then down here below we have turn signal indicators, a low fuel light, high beam indicator neutral, an oil light, ABS light, uh, a low tire pressure warning. I wonder if this has a TPMS sensor. How cool would that be? Uh, and looks like there's a check engine light. Fog lights. I'm pretty sure this doesn't have fog lights, but maybe you can add them. demo ride, that's for sure. I appreciate it. A little congested around here in the Fredericksburg area. We're right here at the uh, intersection of with uh, Route 95, Interstate 95. So there's a little bit of uh, traffic. But, you know, for having 1,300, 1,400 now miles on it, it, there's not a scratch on it, on the tank that I can see, at least on the top of the tank.
there goes that rear cylinder deactivation again Good to know it's working, but I'm surprised how fast it's been coming on. The thing you worry about with a demo bike like this is you wonder what kind of break-in period it's, it's got, you know, was it broken in properly. So my questions are, does it have linked ABS and has it had its first service? Alright, I think we're getting really close to... Just on the other side of this intersection is the, is the dealer. So we'll be coming back into the parking lot concluding this demo ride. Might be sitting here a while. I'm trying to figure out what that used to be. A Wendy's, maybe? Pizza? No. That tobacco hut used to be some sort of a restaurant, and I am not sure what it used to be, but, like, I know it's pretty obvious to somebody watching this video. Was it a Wendy's? Was it a... I don't think it was a pizza hut. I think we'd, we'd recognize that. Oh, well. back up on the dealership here. Uh, they really need to do something about all the gravel in their entrance. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe that's why they go up here and hit this instead. this thing and he's going to probably lose his mind but I'm going to just see what kind of low speed parking lot maneuvers I can do here. Of course if I drop it I have to buy it so I could do that with the fat boy. Okay. It's not just my bike that makes the soul sucking sound when it turns off. I'm just going to do a quick walk around Morgan and then we'll be done. Alright, thank you sir. Alright guys, so that's it. That is the test ride of the 2022 Harley-Davidson Lowrider ST in Gunship Gray. A brand new bike with 1,400 miles on it. <laughs> Here at Old Dominion Harley-Davidson in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Thanks for riding with me today. If you haven't subscribed with to uh, Rev Free Moto, please subscribe. Like this video, it helps me out. And appreciate you. Looking for any scratches or anything on this thing. Looks pretty clean. 
But uh, just remember that uh, who you're becoming is what matters most, guys. All right, so God bless, and we'll see you in the next video.